So we're here at the example table, and in this video we're going to look at some more L'Hopital's Rule examples. So let's just remind ourselves of what L'Hopital's Rule says. If we have the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x, then this is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x over g prime of x. As long as f and g are both going to zero, so we get something we usually call zero over zero, or they're both going to plus or minus infinity. They also have to be differentiable, otherwise we wouldn't be able to talk about f prime and g prime. These two things are called indeterminate forms because it's not readily apparent what the limits should be if it's 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. But those aren't the only indeterminate forms. If you have something that ends up giving you, say, infinity minus infinity, well, we don't know what that is. It could be x minus x, which would be 0. It could be 2x minus x, which would be infinity. Some other indeterminate forms, infinity to the 0, 0 to the 0, 1 to the infinity, and 0 times infinity. So we have all these indeterminate forms, but we can only use L'Hopital's rule with these two. So what can we do if we're given one of these? Well, we can try to rewrite it as 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, in which case we might be able to apply L'Hopital's rule. So let's look at some examples. Let's look at the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x times the natural log of x. So as x approaches 0, well, the first term, which is just x, certainly approaches 0. And the second term, natural log of x, approaches negative infinity. So we have something of this form, 0 times infinity. And this is actually fairly straightforward to rewrite as one of these two because here we can move either the x into the denominator or the natural log into the denominator. So we can get the natural, uh, excuse me, the limit as x approaches 0 from above of either x over 1 over natural log of x or natural log of x over 1 over x. And I'd rather do the second. I'd rather look at the natural log of x divided by 1 over x because 1 over x is going to be an easier function to differentiate than 1 over the natural log of x. It's as simple as that. So, now we have something going to infinity in the top, going to infinity in the bottom, so we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So we get the limit as x approaches 0 from above of the derivative of the natural log of x, which is 1 over x, all over the derivative of 1 over x, which is negative 1 over x squared. Now let's use some algebra to rewrite this. We get the limit as x approaches 0 from above of negative x squared over x. And this is the limit as x approaches 0 from above of negative x, which is simply 0. Let's look at one more example. Suppose now we have the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x to the x. Well, what can we do with this thing? We have an indeterminate form, 0 to the 0. All right, so we have to do something. But we can't apply L'Hopital's rule because it's not a ratio. So our only hope is to rewrite this in some way that we can apply L'Hopital's rule. So let's look at the limit as x approaches 0 from above. Now we have this x to the x. The fact that there's an x in the in the base and the exponent is what's causing the problem. And the great way to get rid of something from an exponent is to apply a logarithm. So if we rewrite this as e to the natural log 
of x to the x. We haven't changed this. We haven't changed what this equals. We've just changed the way we've written it. E to the natural log of x to the x is the same as x to the x. But this allows us to do two important things. The first thing, e to some power is a continuous function, as long as this is nice and continuous, which it is. So we can move this limit expression up into the exponent. So this is equal to e to the limit as x approaches 0 from above of natural log of x to the x. The second thing we can do is what I mentioned earlier, namely we can get this x out of the exponent, which is the entire reason we apply the natural log. So we can write it as x times the natural log of x. So this expression here is the same as e to the power limit as x approaches 0 of x times the natural log of x. But this thing in brackets, this is the previous example. And we could apply L'Hopital's rule by rewriting this as a ratio and then taking the derivatives. And we found out that this is 0. So we get e to the 0, which is 1. So the limit as x approaches 0 from above of x to the x is 1.